Uh, last time we started to talk about chapter 8 and chapter 8 is about planning and audit design and we started to talk about the steps to be taken during the planning of an audit. So actually here we started by uh, the first step whether to accept or to reject uh, the client and to start doing the initial audit plan. And then we move to the second step which is to understand the business, the client's business and industry. And if you remember, in order to gain an understanding of the client business and industry, we said that we have to have information related to the industry and the external environment. We have to have information about the business operations and process, management and governance, objectives and strategies, measurement and performance. And we talked about the industry and the external environment. We said about the risk associated with the specific industry, inherent risk uh, common to all clients in certain industry. We talked about the unique accounting uh, requirement, and we started to talk about uh, the business operation. We said that we have to be aware as auditors of the major sources of revenue, key customers and suppliers, sourcing of finance, and information about the related uh, parties. Next is to understand, we talked about how to do that by doing a tour مثلا, in, the, in the plant or the, in the offices or to identify the related uh, parties. Third is to understand management and governance which means management establish the strategies and the processes followed by the client's businesses. Okay, so governance includes the client organizational structure as well as activity of the board of directors and the audit committee. So in order for the auditor to do a good audit, he has to be aware of the corporate charters and by law inside the company. What is the corporate charter? The corporate charter is the contract that the company have been established upon it. Okay? And the bylaws are the internal regulations to be used inside the company. The auditor must have copies of these two main uh, documents. And if there is any code of ethics to be applied inside the company, it must be uh, apparent to the auditor. And we have to have a copy of the meeting minutes. The books that we are recording at, all the details, all the important uh, decisions to be taken by the audit, the management, in order to find out some information that can be used by the auditor to determine the reliability of information. The reliability of information. This is the third part, which is the management and governance type. Number four is the client's objectives and strategy. What are the main objectives of the management? in order to achieve the organization objective. طبعاً, the main objective of the company is to achieve profit, is to achieve profit. And this profit is the ultimate objectives for the company. So actually here, as an auditor, I should understand the objectives of the management related to the financial reporting reliability. How much we can rely on that financial reporting system inside the, the company. The effectiveness and efficiency of operation and part of that is to understand the internal control of the company to make sure in all the operation are to be done in an effective and efficient way. And what is the degree or the level of compliance with laws and regulations? Laws and regulations. Type. Number five. What are the main measurements of performance to be used by the clients? Yani every company has a performance measurement system that include a performance indicators. And this is how the company is evaluating their employees or their subordinates. Or even to evaluate the performance of the company itself. Like, for are we deciding as management on our performance based on the market share? Yani whenever the market share will increase, okay, the company is considering that the performance of the company increase. If the sales per employee increase, this means that the company is doing good. 
ذا يونت سيلز جروس ذا ويب سايت فيزيتورز يعني سم بيرسونز ار دوينج ناو اول ذير بزنس ثرو انترنت فذيس مينز ذي كان ايفالويت ذا بيرفورمانس اوف ذات ويب سايت بيزد اون ذا وايب ويب سايت فيزيتورز اوكي اند سو اون يبقى البرفورمانس ميجرز هير كان انكلود ريشيو اناليسيس اند بينش ماركينج اجينست كي competitors يعني انا as a, as, a, as a company i have a website and this website okay is achieving مثلا 1000 visit per day in order to know if the company is doing well or not i can compare myself to the website of another company and this will be considered as a benchmark to see my performance in contribution to or in comparison to or in comparative to خلاص the other a the other uh, competitors Okay, this was the first step. Again, sorry, the second step. Again, here we said that the first step in the planning was to accept and to, or reject and to perform initial audit plan. Second is to understand the client business and industry. The third step is to assess the client's business risk. To assess the client business risk type. Let's go for the third step to assess the client a business risk type we have to understand first what do you mean by client business risk when i actually i explained that during the first step when we discuss the acceptable audit risk and the inherent risk and i said the client business risk is the risk that the client will fail to achieve its objective yani the business the management will be failing to repay their their liabilities to achieve the targeted profit like actually this is a risk and actually again this will affect the going concern of the of the company type what is what is the auditor's uh, primary concern here the auditor primary concern is that the risk of material misstatement in the financial statement due to the client business a risk yani because the company is failing to Uh, provide enough مثلا financing to pay their debt maybe the management will start to manipulate the financial state misstating numbers so actually here the auditor will use the information collected from the previous step gained from a strategic understanding of the client business and industry to assess the client business risk because this is why i told you you have to understand the operations you have to understand the business What are the inherent risk? What is the governance and the management strategy to be performed by the company? How the company is evaluating their performance? All the factors that we discussed in step two alas, will help the auditor to collect knowledge, evidence in order to decide on the client business risk. And here, management will be the primary source for identifying this business A, business risk. Okay? Time. Okay. Then we are summarizing here what did we explain now? We started by okay, understanding the client, business, and industry, and we talked about all of these factors to be taken into consideration. And then, based on that, we are assessing the client business risk. And based on our assessment for that, okay, we are assessing the risk of material mistake. And understanding is first. then the client business risk, then the risk of material mess uh, statement. Fine. As long as in we are talking about the material mess statement and the client business risk, we have to remind ourselves of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act is the law or the act that have been issued in 2002 based on the Enron case. Okay, in order to prevent or to decrease, okay, the material, the risk of the material misstatement in the financial statement due to the manipulation of management. The Sarbanes Oxley Act required that the management certify it has designed control, disclosure control, and the procedure. It has designed. disclosure control and procedure to ensure that material information about business risk is made known to everyone 
يعني one of the main requirement لل Sarbanes Oxley Act إن the management to have enough disclosure to enable everyone خلاص to decide on the business risk probability and it also requires that management to certify it has informed the auditor and the audit committee of any significant deficiency in the internal control يبقى actually here Okay, let's go and test your uh, understanding. Let's go for the first step, which is to perform a preliminary analytical uh, procedure. What do you mean by the preliminary analytical procedure? If you remember, the analytical procedure, okay, was containing mainly three issues. El ratios, comparison el ratios D with the previous uh, years, and or, of course, with competitors, as you wish, or with expectations of the company, or with expectations of the auditor, whatever. We are seeking for the unusual items. So here we are going to do the preliminary analytical procedure by comparing the client ratio to industry, or competitors benchmark, to provide indication of the company performance. So do we need to have an indication? واخد بال حضرتك about the company performance? Yes, because one of the main objective of the auditor is to assess the going concern of the company. The going concern of the company. What do you mean by going concern? Going concern, we assess if the business is able to continue in the future or, or not. يبقى actually here, we are going to do the preliminary test, خلاص, which can reveal the unusual change in ratios. يعني فور اكزامبل مثلا عندي النت بروفيت مارجن النت بروفيت مارجن ده كان 10% لاست يير ذيس يير ات بيكيم 2% طيب اي هاف تو جو اند تشيك واي ذات هابن ذيس از انيوجوال ذات وان بزنس از اتشيفينج 10% بروفيت اند ذن ان ذا نيكست يير از ات اتشيفز او ات اتشيفينج 2% ات دازنت مين ان الكومباني is misstating the numbers. Maybe there is a, an economic condition that is affecting the company. But Anna, as an auditor, I have to investigate. So the analytical procedure will pinpoint my site into specific area. This area is the area that is showing the unusual change, the unusual change. And this is the main, again, uh, uh, concern of the preliminary analytical procedure يعني for example some of the ratios here مثلا short term debt اللي هو ال current ratio مثلا actually here the client is achieving 3.86 current ratio although the industry is achieving 5.2 so actually the client here is below maybe he is having a problem in providing liquidity for short term okay type Maybe مثلا inventory turnover. The inventory turnover is the number of time that the inventory is sold per year. Type 3.3. The average is 5.2. So again, the company is achieving uh, يعني losses or achieving a rate of turnover that is less than the industry. Less than the The ability to the ability to meet long-term obligation, it is debt to equity, which means the debt to equity is 1.73. Delay the pressure? Industry. Type. Actually, to meet, the, the, to meet long-term obligation, okay, here the company is doing 1.75 and the industry is doing 2.51. Actually, we are better than, because actually we have debt that is less than the amount of debt to be taken by the other A, the other company. Profitability, we are achieving 5%, the other are achieving 7%.